Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this is Fun with Photos. Today's question is, how do I get old print photos into digital form and into Google Photos? Well, you could use expensive scanning equipment and learn how to use the software that comes with it. You might have to take pictures out of your photo albums to put on the, the scanner. I think it's easiest just to take your smartphone and snap pictures with your smartphone's camera. But there are some two cool apps that work in conjunction with Google Photos, PhotoMine and PhotoScan, actually by Google, that I want to show you. Some of this will depend on the type of person you are. I'm the type of person that I'll just be thumbing through an old photo album and I'll see this photo of Marty and think, I've just been talking to her on Facebook and this is a great picture. I need to get it and send it to her. So I will, I will just pick up my phone and open the camera, try to get it so that there's not too much glare and I'll snap, I'll snap a picture of the picture. It's on my phone, meaning it's going to go to Google Photos. I can do some editing to it. That's wonderful. And then I see this picture of Jim being Santa Claus with a bunch of kids. These kids are now 40 years old. That's a great shot. I'll just take my phone and snap a picture. But some people are much more thorough than me. They'll see this photo album and they say, I want to take, I want to capture every photo. That's what photo mine is for. I want to show you an app called photo mine, which is the quickest and easiest way to get all of these photos scanned. It is a separate app on either Android or iOS, but once you have it installed, you can also access it right in Google Photos. So PhotoMine is a separate app. You install it from the Play Store on Android or the App Store on iPhone, and that is what it looks like. And you can use it just as a standalone app. It will let you save to Google Photos when you're done. But I just want to show you how you get to it in Google Photos. And then you tap Library, Utilities, scroll down to Import Photos, and then Photo Mine right there. Now, you can use it for free if you tap up here at the top where it says ads are okay, but you will want to pay the $40 a year if you decide you really want to use it. So once you have it going, you just tap on scan at the bottom. And you just point at the page, the whole page of photos. You tap and hold the shutter button for just a couple seconds and watch how it separates out the individual photos. I'm not touching anything here. And now I can scan another page. Ooh, there's a lot of glare on this one. Touch and hold on the shutter button. And notice how it's making the pictures look better. That's just magic. Now I'm on the third page, touch and hold the shutter button. Is this amazing or what? Fourth page, touch and hold. I think you get the idea. And when you're done, you tap done. It says that I've captured 12 photos. It creates an album within PhotoMine, which I can name if I want, but I just want them to go straight to Google Photos. You tap the Share button, Connect to Google Photos, and Save to Google Photos. Twelve photos were saved. I can go take a look 
And there are the photos I just scanned. Don't they look great? Remember when I complained about the glare? I'm going to show you another app called PhotoScan by Google that will eliminate that. PhotoScan is an app by Google. I can get to it from my Photos app. Now I just get the picture in the frame and tap the button. And now it's going to say, circle those four dots. And it takes a picture with each of the dots. When it puts them all together, the glare will be gone. Let's do another one. You tap it. Then you move the circle over each dot. Now, if yours isn't doing that, it might be because you have the glare control off. And that's that little button right there. If there's a slash through it, then it's not going to do the glare control. So let's do one more. Notice it also has a flash. The purpose of the flash is to get rid of the reflections. Then the purpose of the four shots is to get rid of the glare from the flash. All right. So then I'll show you how that looks in Google Photos. So here I am looking at Google Photos, and here are the three shots I just took from that big framed collage on the wall. Not bad. The next photo, that looks pretty good. And the third one. Once your scanned photos are in Google Photos, there's a couple of things I want to mention. So remember the first photo I took of Marty where I just used my phone's camera and snapped a shot from the photo album? Well, this one needs some editing. So I'm just going to tap it, edit. I'm in Google Photos. And the main thing I want to do is crop. Now, in Google Photos on the Android, I could actually crop to the skewed, which is kind of cool, but it's usually not necessary. When I'm done, notice how it straightens it out. But even with just a normal crop, I can get in closer, and she looks lots better. Now, under Suggestions, I'm going to try Dynamic. Ooh, I think that looks really good. I have to, it's forcing me to save a copy. So I might go back out and now delete the old one. And then there's the photo of Jim as Santa Claus. Let's make that one look a little bit better. Crop. And then suggestions and dynamic. And that looks pretty good. Save copy. Delete the original. But now, what's wrong with this picture? This says that these pictures were taken today. Well, I did snap the photo of the photos today, but these were taken in 1994. I'm going to change the date. I can do it both at the same time by selecting both of them. Then one of the options at the bottom is to edit date and time. And I'm going to select one date and time. So I'm going to edit the date. And then I like to pick from drop down list. I'll tap here and I'll find 1994. And then I can just scroll over till I see December. And I'll tap on December oh, 20. I really don't know when exactly it was, but that's near enough. OK. And save. They look like they've disappeared. I can scroll back in my photos all the way to 1994. And there are the two photos that I just changed the dates for. Now go have some fun scanning all your old photos.